Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There is immense conference pride in the Big Ten. No conference I can think of has more games where they play for trophies, whether it's Paul Bunyan's axe, a little brown jug, an old oaken bucket. Somebody's always playing for something, but most of all, they're playing for pride. A great matchup coming in the Big Ten. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 49. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Here's a quick throw. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. There he goes. Brought down in the open field. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Makes it out to about the 30. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets it out quickly. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. He's tackled in the open field. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their scheme. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. 
Pitt and West Virginia in the backyard brawl. And for West Virginia, time running out. Clock winding down. One last chance, and they score! The Mountaineers sweep by by four. Elsewhere, let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. And for Rice, they reach the end zone with an aerial dart. Rice leads it 14-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Minnesota lines up for the kickoff. Golden Gophers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Mosley's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second down and 12. Ball on the 24. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. throw incomplete one of his receiver you know i think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that i think he just put too much on the football his receiver was open he just misfired brown will be the return man tackle made at the 44 yard line So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Minnesota is up by a touchdown. Hand off to the right. Gets to about the 44-yard line. No baby on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Johnson gains around two there on the option from the quarterback. Third down. Bridges is the punter. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Makes it to the 47. Nebraska's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 42. First down. Down. 
Gets it. He's in space. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Number 57 with the tackle at the 35-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. That'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. Minnesota's lead is a touchdown. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Here he goes. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16. He fights forward to about the 13. Goes complete and he's hit hard behind the line. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down around the seven-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And he's taken down at the eight-yard line. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Minnesota is up a score. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. He's got to throw it in a hurry. They'll make the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. Tackle at the 40. And that was excellent punt coverage. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's taken down at the 36. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second and 14. Ball on the 36-yard line. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a game of 12 on the ball. That makes it third and three. He makes his way to about the 38. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. From the 38-yard line. First down. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Passes. Tight end's got another one. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. the tight end this guy can play some football you bet he can he's such an all-around player he's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football will be tied with the extra point and he adds the extra point a nice five play 59 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown brad i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive we get a tie game at 7 7. and down he goes at the 30. both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one well because they've been so conservative it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook got a man they knocked it loose Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. He's out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That'll make it 77. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. From the 48-yard line, second down. He flings it, and that one's incomplete.
He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. That'll make it fourth and ten. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight Hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that. As a great, every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good. Well, like a game score. We're locked and loaded. You got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese Davids. Thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's out to the 30. He's tackling at the 33. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He makes his way to about the 42. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. And they got him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 34. 
That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. On the ground, left side. And they make the stop around the 33 yard line. made at about the 31. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. From the 31-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. to about the 27-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold onto the ball after taking a shot like that. the catch and the defense is all over him they bring him down for a loss there's a missed opportunity by the offense time's getting a little bit tighter now you got to make every possession count Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 48. Yard line. Second down. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 32. two-yard line. First down. Here we go. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. If the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. This one should be interesting. Offense. Looked like the receiver got a little bit Still too aggressive there. The defender held his ground, and they threw the flag. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Swings it out there incomplete. Up 
man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. Bridges awaits the snap. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Mackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the six. He's taken down at the six-yard line. him out around the 10 yard line so at the end of the third quarter we get a tie game at 7 7 into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action Thompson is the punter. He drops it. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Call a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 46 yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 36 yard line. to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 32. And they get nice yardage on that run. Williams gets about four yards on the option keeper. That'll bring up third and two. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down at the 10. So here 
here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Brought down around the seven yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That brings up second and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Receiver touchdown. And he converts the extra point. The Angelus ready to kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 33-yard line. The Cornhuskers have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. Well, they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. We're trying to get that W. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle at the 41. He scrambled, and he's tackled at the 45. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tries to buy some time. Fumble, loose ball, and down he goes. Right around the 48 yard line. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. To review, to review the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in their own 47. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. We have less than a minute to go. Complete. He's got room, and he's level at the 39. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Here's the give, and he's tackled after positive yardage. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Raider, Raider. Check, 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 check. Down, down. Kill, kill. Yeah, the way he's down. 
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He throws. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. That's a D That brings him second goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes his third and goal. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Throws it and it's tipped away. And this one's all but wrapped up. Golden Gophers is winning. 14-7. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.